Have you ever wished there was some kind of magic bullet for success? After all, why are some people successful and other people aren't? It's more than just hard work. It really is. And while there is not a magic bullet, not that I know of, and there's not a magic anything for success, there are some exercises that I'm going to share with you today that will make a difference. It will make your success very likely. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dada Groover, award-winning author and speaker, and I am in Ashland, Oregon, in Lithia Park, which is one of my favorite places on earth. I used to live uh, right near here. I used to come here almost every single day. I just love it. Uh, there's people walking by. You might hear some voices in the background, and of course you hear the babbling brook. It's running uh, right behind me. And today I'm going to share with you uh, a few exercises, really short, easy exercises that will make all the difference in the world in terms of your success. Uh, the Inspired Writer is all about creativity for writers and other people, and I'm going to share with you something today I believe is absolutely life-changing. I'm having a little bit of a raw kind of vulnerable day. My brother passed away uh, just a few days ago, and I'm doing this video in honor of him. I know he'd absolutely love this. All right, so get a pen and a piece of paper if you don't have one handy. Uh, pause the video if you need to. And if you were just going to watch this and let it sink in, don't. Write it down, please. It'll make a lot of difference. Go ahead. I'll wait. You can pause me. I won't be offended. All right, here we go. So one of the main reasons that people are not successful is they don't have a clear idea in their minds of what that success is. They don't know what it looks like. They might think, oh, so-and-so is such a successful singer, or so-and-so is a successful writer, or movie maker, or whatever it is. And, you know, that might be success for them, and it might not be. So here is the exercise. On that piece of paper, I want you to take a couple of minutes and write down what success looks like for you, and be as specific as you possibly can. Uh, you know, I, I sell a hundred thousand books. I've changed thousands of people's lives with my writing. Those are some, that's what success looks like for me. Um, and it can be a lot of things. It can be a few things. It can be one thing. I want to make a million dollars writing. That's not my success. Yeah, I wouldn't mind making a million dollars writing, but really I want to change a lot of people's lives. And if I make a million dollars doing it, great. But what I'm trying to say is you and only you can decide what that is. And right now, be very specific. So here's the thing. I want this to be a flexible list. I want you to keep it near your bed. I want you to keep it uh, near your workspace so you can look at it. And you will look at it several times or, or during the day when you wake up in the morning, when you go to bed at night, and add to it. Change it. Let it be what you really, really want in terms of success. Right now, I want you to pause me and work on this for just two minutes. Just work on it for two minutes and write down whatever right now you feel your best success would be. If you're music, you write a, a song. If you're music, if, you, if you're playing music, you're writing music, then uh, your success might be, you know, writing a song that, uh, you know, millions of people love. Whatever that is. It doesn't matter what it is, but it matters that you are clear on what that success is. So right now, if you haven't paused it already, take a couple of minutes to write down and be as specific as possible what that success would look like. I'll be right here waiting. Very good. So now that you've got your success written down, and again, let that list be flexible. Let it change. You can add to it. You can take away things. Actually, this is more important than that. Think about it. Your, your soul will really get tuned into what you've written down, and you will come up. Sometimes you'll come up with things that are very different than when you started from, but it's very important to keep that list flexible. I know I've said it a few times, but that's because it's very, very important second part of the exercise. Write down what you are willing to do to achieve that success. So for me, I am willing to work my rear end off to get the success that I want. I'm willing to work my rear end off to sell 100,000 or more copies of the second side of anime. I am willing to reach out for help to wherever I can get it from, from professional 
uh, editors, from friends, from beta readers. I'm willing to beg people, hey, I need some help with this. I'm willing to do that. And I'm willing to put the time into it. I'm willing to put the energy into it. I'm willing to sacrifice the very best part of my day. My early morning hours, I wake up, I do my prayers, I meditate uh, half an hour, maybe 45 minutes on some days, and then I write for hours every morning until nine o'clock. I get up very early, so I might do three or four hours writing. The best part of my day goes for that. That is something I'm willing to do. So take two minutes, pause me again. I won't be offended, I promise. Pause this and write down on that piece of paper, what are you willing to do? What are you willing to do to get that success that you wrote down in the first part of the exercise? Go ahead, I'll be waiting. Thanks for doing that. And here we are now at part three of the exercise. Part three of the exercise. And this may be the most important part of all. So, and it goes right with the other two. It has to be all three uh, to get what you really want. Part three is what are you not willing to do? What are you not willing to do to get that success that you wrote down on that piece of paper? For me, I am not willing to sacrifice my marriage for that success. I am not willing to sacrifice my health for that success. Success. I am not willing to sacrifice my integrity for that success. I'm not willing to uh, write popular fiction. Yeah, I want my fiction to be popular, um, and, but I want my, my fiction to be life-changing. I want it to make such a difference with people so they, when they read one of my books, they put it down and say, wow, that was amazing. And I want them to actually, whether they know it or not, to have that book have made a difference in their life. But I don't want to just write to what's uh, commercially selling right now. Harry Potter came out. So many Harry Potter wannabes were written, right? So many of that kind of genre. Well, that's what's selling. Um, with science fiction, there's trends and people follow trends. And there's nothing wrong with that. I swear. I, I'm not making a judgment there. It's just not what I want to do. I am not willing to do that. What are you not willing to do? It could be the same things I mentioned. It could be other things. What are you not willing to do? Take two minutes again and write that down on a piece of paper. And like the other two lists, let this be flexible. Uh, let these lists be somewhere where you can see them every day when you get up, when you go to sleep and be open to changing those lists. Be open to have them um, being something different than what you started with. When your soul sees those, and your soul is going to see that, when your soul sees those lists and what you put down there, then it will communicate with you in a way that will inspire you possibly to do something else. It happens. And that's why I say write it down first. And again, if you're just listening, you know, it might have some benefit, but really the benefit is from doing this exercise. I would love it if you did it. I would love it if you find your soul's higher purpose through this exercise. I, I think this is a very, very powerful exercise. I've done this myself uh, multiple times, and I have found that over time it can change. It can morph. It's like, oh, here's what I really am willing to do, and here's what my success really looks like, and here's what I'm not willing to do. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you really enjoyed this. And I really hope that this takes you to your soul's highest purpose. Dada Groover with the Inspired Writer and President of the Awakened School, I might add. Please do uh, click that subscribe button and ring that little bell. I would love it uh, to have you as a subscriber. And then you'll know every time one of these videos come out. Thank you again. Take care.